mud won't dry out at all. You know, I have people, which I've said this before, saying this, this stuff will never dry out. Well, mud is mud when it's wet and it's dirt when it's dry. So if you get it out, you know, like this is right here, you know, out of the water, it's going to dry and it's going to turn back into dirt. And that's what this is doing now. Uh, I dug some of this out Saturday. Because I didn't run any Sunday. Today's Monday. And uh, we had to dry all that is right there already. It's just still dry as quick, man. I'm going to dig a little bit. I'm going to dig. What I, gotta, what I need to do is I need to dig some stockpile uh, out of the pond. We're going to be drying so by you know the weekend or you know whenever I get ready to haul it I'll have some to be hauled. I don't like a lot uh, finishing digging digging doing the digging I'm gonna do uh, I got one more main area right here to dig in and then I'm gonna go back around and do some what I would call just finish work digging and uh, do that because the pond is drying on up right now pond is drying on up right now and it's not going to be much more longer the culverts over there are, uh, are going to be completely out of the water so then there won't be any water transporting across till we start back getting some rain and all but I see uh, this winter or this fall once we or whenever once we do start getting some rain and this fills back up then then it's going to have a lot more water in it to start with uh, you know once it starts getting for the dry part of the year, you know, it'll it'll have a lot more there to kind of to kind of live on, you know, than what it has in the past. But I look back at uh, some of my my very first dig pictures that I shot from the uh, that I shot from the, uh, from the drone, and boy, it's a huge difference uh, between and after so far so I mean just a huge difference I'm very happy with um, with how it looks and basically what I'm doing I'm just gonna move some of this dirt and I'm fixing to get out there in the pond again and go back to digging to stockpile but I'm just killing a little bit of time letting the letting it get a little bit later in the afternoon so that uh, it won't be so hot down there in my shop which I do I do have a central unit in my shop I have a it's, it's fully heated and cool down there, but I can't close that thing up while I'm well. Man. I die in there. You know, I just can't. I mean, if I'm in there working on something, just mess around, I can I can close it up. I'm fine, but you can't you can't weld not with all that smoke coming off that welder, man. It did kill you just a little bit. But this dirt moved out of the way, and then I'm gonna move some of that pile over there, and then I'm gonna get out. In the edge of the water there and go to digging. This is kind of where Anna Kate was at the other day when she was digging. In the same spot here. This was dirt too. And I'll be back. So what I'm gonna do? I'm, gonna, I'm going out on this point right here. I got to pull this point back. So I'm gonna take. Logs down right here where I can get up on them. I think I'm probably gonna need them once I start digging. Right there. We'll see. I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Do is pull that point back right there. 
me to hop up on top of this thing. So I don't want to roll with me. There we go. Now I'm going to do whatever I need to. Track out in the pond, man. Just like that. See, I'm going after that. There's a high spot of dirt right here. That's what I'm after. I'm after that right there. I don't pull myself off the. I've dug on both sides. There's a little bit spot right here because I kind of skipped. I skipped over a little bit. I knew I was going to come back right here. Pick this back up. Dude, I asked me in my video, Romantic Kate's video, he said, uh, man, you want all that water with the steel water out there with the mosquitoes, mosquitoes in there and all? I'm like, heck yeah, man. I want mosquitoes. Mosquitoes that you love too. Can I have something to feed on? Of course, I pointed out to him that the water can run through that culvert over there. Yeah, ain't much water running anywhere right now much because it's dead gonna dry. I'm pretty happy because the, the water is dropping down in this thing, there's the contour of it is all different. And that's good. That's a good for, for fish to have different levels and stuff. And then when you start fishing, you know, it gives you stuff to fish around. So I mean, that's, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's uh with how it's done and how it's, how it's uh, shaping up, doing and all that. You know, pretty happy with it. I'm not sure what this would have costed to get somebody to do this. I don't know. There's, I'm sure it wouldn't have been cheap. Uh, Chris, let's dig. He may be able to elaborate on what this would cost right here because I have no idea. I'm not a I don't figure dirt, and uh, I'm not a dirt guy, but he is. I've hauled uh, nearly another 30 loads of dirt away from here, back there to my shooting range, uh, Friday and Saturday. So that puts it uh, right at 90 loads of you know, dump truck loads. Of course, they, they, they wasn't, uh, they were a little bit heavier than your average dump truck loads, you know what I mean? So, of course I wasn't getting out on the road none either. back out here my goal with Anna Kate is is to get her to where she can load a dump truck and it, and it wouldn't take much to get her to there I could probably get her out here this afternoon and let her play a little bit kind of fill the machine a little bit more than uh, what she did the other day and it, it wouldn't take I've already got that pretty deep right there it wouldn't take much at all and uh, she would have the controls down to where she could, you know, she could go over the side of the dump truck. She's not ready for that yet, but she could go over to, you know, the side of the dump truck bed and without tearing the sides off of it, you know. You can see now I'm getting them out. I've been dug back. Now it's time to move. So I'm just picking them up, bringing them back here, sitting them back here behind me out of the way. Well, ground, once you get out there, pretty, you, know, you get out there and dig down pretty good. It's, uh, there's some hard spots out there in it. I've dug up a bunch of old stumps. There evidently used to be some trees out there. It, uh, time back years ago and when they backed that water up from that lake over there across the road from it pushed it over here on this side it, 
flooded it out, and those stumps are still there. There and then, then I'll hang one of them, and I'll go ahead and rip it on up as I'm digging. Like I said a while ago, all this will be drying all through the week right here. And by Saturday, you know, be ready to uh, load in the dump truck and haul. So this kind of got me a se sequence going of digging and letting it dry and then hauling it. You know, you, know you, can't, you can't dig this wet stuff out and haul it all the same day. You know, you had it. I hadn't tried that. I ain't going to try that. I think it would make a huge mess if I did. There's a Those are the perfect mud mats, man. They're free. Cost me anything. And when I'm done with them, I'll take them back to the woods. Throw them on a truck and haul them. Haul them to the mill. They'll take them to the mill. See, I got a big pile right here. This is that pile of dry. It's got a little bit of wet on the side of it, on top of it. And then all of this right here, I just dug out. That's just solid mud right there. I just sit there and dry. I'm gonna call it a day for a day out here messing with this park excavator. And this thing is shaping up really, really nice, man. Really nice. I had to get the drone back out and do a flyover on it where you can kind of see what it, see what it looks like, but. It's going to end up being uh, pretty good when uh, when she all gets done in there. You know, so I'm going to spark this thing right here. And then I'll haul all this dirt off later. Let it dry. 